Big Nollywood star Kanayo Okanayo reveals why he almost committed suicide. The Nollywood actor Kanayo Okanayo has revealed that he almost committed suicide at some point in his life. The 60 year old actor said this as he recalled his childhood experience living with his elder brother in Enugu, Enugu State. Kanayo said he wanted to commit suicide one day while hawking Agidi to end his suffering. Welcome to our channel. We bring you global happenings and breaking news. We urge you to subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to click the notification bell. So once we release a new video, it will come directly to you. Let's tell you more about Kanayo O Kanayo, one of the Ndaboskis in the Nollywood industry. He was hawking Agidi. Agidi is um, a delicacy made out of uh, ground corn or maize whitish in color i think they have uh, colored ones now so all that glitters is not gold those of you who watch the movies you see kanayo kanayo with the big boys doing those uh, magic the cult things secret society and all that driving in big cars showing up in luxurious houses but you see the man came from somewhere. He didn't just land at that level immediately. He was talking like this before, living with his senior brother in Enugu. Let's hear more what he's saying. So the veteran actor said, I used to hawk Agidi on the streets of Enugu. And in one of those dark days where he was crossing a Bakpa bridge to hawk Agidi, he looked into the deep water when a voice urged him to jump into the water and end his suffering. He continued that he was a small boy carrying this heavy thing on his head, but he did not listen to that voice, thank God. And luckily for him, he finished selling all the agidi. The 60-year-old actor said he has not done anything bad and had to do manual jobs to make ends meet. His brother's wife, whom he lived with those days in Enugu, did not want to know your age. She would give me dozens of agidi on my head. And God saved me if I returned home with some unsold items, with the kind of beating I would receive that day. If you are familiar with Enugu State, I used to hawk Agidi from New Heaven to Abakpa, a long distance. He added that he had to do many jobs to support his family as he was not born with a silver spoon. Like most of us are not. That's correct. I have gone through the thick and thin of life. I was not born with a silver spoon in my mouth. But I want to make sure that children don't go back to where I started from, Kanayo said. Something is missing in the whole story. We see it now that your beginning was not smooth, Chief Kanayo. But what happened in between? There is a missing link here. How did you transform from a giddy hawker living with your brother's wife? with your brother and the wife, to a Hollywood uh, big star. How did, you, how did the transformation happen? Did you eventually go to school? You were allowed to go to school, probably. You finished your primary, went to secondary school. And as far as we know, we believe you're also now um, a full graduated lawyer. So what happened in between? You still have to come back and tell us more about this story. How did you land in uh, living in bondage? 
Who recruited you? Who are you working for? Who was the godfather that showed up? How did Locke turn around and started smiling on you? Today we see you on our televisions everywhere. You're all over the place. What happened? So this story is not full. And by the way, suffering as a small boy, most people that grew up in those days of your age, they also have their own stories to sell. It does occur to people once in a while to do one funny or stupid thing to end it all. But um, thank God he didn't go far into that thought and you quickly continued with your business and uh, <laughs> nature smiled on you, heaven smiled on you, and that day you were able to sell all your agidi. So if that had happened, we wouldn't have known you now, you see? So you took a very wide decision as a young person and today you are all good for it and we're also happy for it because we watch you every time, we see what you have done, you have inspired so many young people also to grow in the movie industry because you belong to, you're a veteran, you're one of the oldest that we could remember that appeared on screen indeed, especially with the living in bondage that um, heralded the era of Nigeria made the home movies and now it has become a big industry contributing billions to Nigeria's economy. So your decision not to follow your instinct was very, very good, and we appreciate it. Continue to do well because you say that your duty is to see young people, that to make sure they don't go through the same path which you did. So that means doing more charitable work, but please do more movies that we encourage the children and less of those uh, cult actors. We appreciate you, Mr. Akana Yokana, and we thank you, our subscribers and those who have not subscribed for coming by. See you in our next video, but remember to subscribe if you haven't and click on the notification bell so that when we have these Nollywood stories, you'll be first to know about them. God bless.